Okay, so now let's look at using slices to filter the data. So slices are really easy and um, for users to um, quickly understand how to use those controls. Um, a lot simpler than having them come and try and filter using any of these um, over on the right hand side. So if you add in that slicer, that's going to make it a lot faster for them to get to grips with. So if I come over here, this is going to be one of the default visualizations. I'm going to click on slicer, added it onto the report. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add in a slicer to allow someone to filter based on the net promoter type. So I'm going to add the label into the field. So we can see here we've got our list of net promoter score types. And then let's go ahead and we'll also add another one. And this one will do the color values and we'll also do the label. Okay, so we've got two slices. So now what we'll do is we'll do a little bit to them in terms of formatting. So do you want to have an outline color, outline weight and so on? Selection controls. So by default, it will be a single select. So that means I can only do passes or passives or only do promoters and so on. What I want is to be able to allow them to select more than one. So I can do passives and promoters. Okay. Now you'll see as I'm clicking on them, it, that's it. It's already starting to filter. Okay. And then I've also got a clear selection. So if I'm clicking, notice that one is still set to only allow me to click one at a time. So you can see the, see the difference there. So let's clear all those. Um, so what I can also do is the title. So let's call this net promoter score type. So you can see there's all kinds of things that you can change. Um, give it a border, give it a background and so on. Okay, so pretty straightforward to add. Um, and then, like I said, very, very easy for the users to be able to review and, and understand how these controls would work because it's literally just clicking in boxes and then it's filtering automatically.